Ingrateful murder, Harry Meghan robbery vaporizes poor prince. All royal privileges. Hello and welcome to the Princess Diana News YouTube channel. From what Harry has written in his memoirs, he really despises his role as a backup. But there are a lot of poor people there, there are a lot of homeless people around, both for these people and for many others. I mean, it would be a real dream to be a replacement for the royal family. They would love to be in Harry's shoes, but Prince Harry is ungrateful and thinks Harry really has it all. He has a loving family. He has a good job. He lives in a dream world. Now he raises the question of being called up as a backup. Thank you Meghan Markle, whose mother taught him how lucky he is to have such a privileged life. Harry respected his mother's rules and was very sad when she passed away. Basically all he did was whine, complain, get angry and threaten his dad's family, Harry tried to hurt his family, but he failed. He is actually living a lie by writing this book and it only hurts himself and his reputation. Harry unleashed so much hate poison on his family and on his father who raised him so rich and privileged. I really think Harry hates himself so I don't think he's capable of sharing his wealth with anyone. He went on to talk about his generosity, his kindness, and how he wanted to serve others. But all this is empty. He lives by deception. Everything Harry does is actually a cry for help thanks to the pain he feels inside. So I don't think desperation drives the gifts because the truth is he has nothing to give. He doesn't even have to give himself up, he's empty inside. So did Harry. I hate to say it, but he's a bit of a jerk, you could call him selfish. Harry could do better if he could think of other people or things. That's why the common people are so unhappy with him and his constant mourning. He must be doing some real charity work that I don't understand why they can't be happy. As senior royals, Meghan and Harry have an incredible opportunity to spread their goodwill wherever they want. I can't imagine anything more important. Why are they throwing things like this now? This news, and all the books that came out after the interview, all the media, including everything they did for Netflix and Capsule, was designed to hurt and destroy Harry's own family but the only thing Harry really destroyed was himself. Now. The royal family will come out of this situation well. Some things change. However, Harry won't be ruined by his behavior for a long time, and he doesn't realize it yet that I believe he will continue to blame everyone and never himself. Harry also likes to pretend that he has more contact with people than his family, but that's not really the case. He is like the rest of the upper class of the society who has never seen the problems of the middle class and the poor. They don't know what it's like to be a worker living paycheck to paycheck. Harry also does not have the healthy and balanced image of his late mother. He actually took this legend as sacred. She can't reconcile his simple human foibles with his public persona and constant moodiness of his larger than life persona. His mother is his failure. This made him an easy target for Meghan Markle. In essence, Spare's story is about a lost child who never accepted the circumstances of his birth and the loss of a simple and often incredibly loving mother. It really is time for Harry to grow up. What happened to Diana is certainly tragic, but life must go on anyway. I might have felt a little more sympathy for him if he hadn't been a spoiled, spoiled brat married to that horrible jerk. In some ways they are a very good game, but I don't know how long they can keep it up. Their love story is completely fake because apparently they are constantly fighting behind closed doors and really can't stand each other, Harry and Meghan sincerely believe they have such brilliant plans. They will give up the confines of the royal family and make millions for themselves by selling their royal connections. Then, of course, the Queen terminated the plan. Then suddenly. Oh no, Meghan and Harry are in a win-win situation, they were worried. Maybe they really needed to earn the money they needed to maintain their normal lifestyle. How could they do that? So? Meghan has always used white people to get what she wants, well, of course, that doesn't work for Harry, and Harry doesn't have income-generating skills of his own. The only thing they really have to sell is the tragic story of Harry, an abandoned reservist who lost his mother at a very young age. 
Well, I really hope they have good investing skills, because the Netflix documentary series Book Money won't last forever. They spend money like there's no tomorrow, and people don't believe Harry's laments, because most agree that being the understudy is a good job, better than being the heir. Enjoy all the benefits of a senior member of the royal family without the obligations of an heir. I mean, you have to talk to charities a few times and do a few rounds of kindness. But the replacement is free to live an easy life and do other things if they choose. William knows everything about his future, whether he chooses it or not. It doesn't matter. He doesn't have the freedom that Harry enjoys, but regardless, I think William is perfect that I'm sure he'll find King Harry's mercy amazing, but it's amazing. He realizes that he does not need anything for the future king and does not even want to be, but he is extremely jealous of his older brother. He is so juvenile and I swear this guy is a mess of fruit salad. A royal expert said Harry had a very privileged life. He never had to work for anything and his mistakes were covered up, so he never learned how to deal with mistakes and get them back, everyone in his life gave so much for him because his mother died. They didn't help him let go and move. For example, his mother died in a drunk car accident instead of accepting her grief and doing something positive like starting an awareness program about the dangers of drunk driving, dangerous speeds, and even the importance of wearing seat belts. Instead, he turns his grief into bitterness and self-pity. It looks like he's already started participating in the real victory games and mental health programs with William and Catherine. But that relationship ended when he met Meghan Markle. I'm not sure when, but she managed to let all the pain flow freely. This lack of empathy resurfaced during adolescence and young adulthood, exacerbated by an early Markle. I don't think Harry is ungrateful, because he has never been grateful. He lacks real compassion because he has little or no awareness, development, or empathy that I agree, even in TV interviews you can see how proud he is. Whenever someone asks a question that is not lying, they are very rude. Once he even lifted his chin with a sword. People with arrogant and self-confident statements do not consciously or even unconsciously understand the feeling of gratitude. It's just not there, the royal expert also said. I blame the late Princess Diana for punishing her when she was mean and naughty, but instead gave her the idea to calm down and get away with it all. He forgets that it was the royal family who looked after Diana as she traveled the world with various men. He wants to be king, but he's so delusional that instead of doing something positive with his life, he throws away the expensive education that some can only dream of and turns his life into a meaningless lie. No formal qualifications to live the independent life he is said to want. He has many cousins and others, having a successful career etc. and living an independent life. If he needed to unravel the mystery, why on earth would he have a second child? What will his surrogate children think of him in the years to come? It's a mystery that I end conclusion, says the expert, you and this man are ungrateful fools. What do you think of Harry? Please let me know your opinion, we can also discuss it within the monarchy. If you liked our video tonight, don't miss it. I can share this with everyone who likes it, click the button below to watch more videos from our team. Thanks again for the setup. Goodbye, we will get back to you tomorrow.